Hello YouTube, hello wonderful people, welcome back again for another video. This time it's gonna be something uh, different, another, uh, I mean a different kind of video than the usual. This time it's gonna be a video comparison between a real fragrance and a fake fragrance. It's gonna be a, an authentic pure excess versus a real, uh, versus a fake pure excess. And uh, yeah, the main reason why I decided to uh, to do this video because uh, especially because a friend of mine was a victim of a con artist seller online that sold him a fake pure excess and uh, actually this is was this was the second time that uh, he buys a fake pure excess he, li he likes pure excess so much and uh, you know that's why he fell uh, twice for uh, for a, f a fake pure excess the first time when he uh, I mean the first fake that he bought was really bad very obvious it was really a bad bad fake uh, pure excess the second time he thought that it is much better he thought it is uh, it looked real that it is authentic but it was only a better fake it was not uh, a real one was not the authentic and uh, this seller that sold him uh, this fragrance the seller I mean this trick that this guy does is he takes the authentic he takes pictures of it from the sides the front the back the bottom the batch code and all that and uh, he posts them online and you as a buyer you see the pictures and you believe that this is what he is selling. So you see the, the pictures, you, you think to yourself, oh, this is authentic. And you look at the price and you go for it. You don't think twice, you just quickly go for it. I mean, he takes the pictures of the authentic, but he sends you the, the fake one. And this is exactly what happened with my friend. And uh, yeah, I uh, purchased, I bought another fake just for this video comparison. This is the authentic over here and this is the fake. And uh, from the first look, as you can see guys, the authentic has a darker blue, richer darker blue than the fake. The blue on the fake looks really cheap, doesn't look that good also the gold color is not as good or high quality as on here on here it looks more like a mustardy kind of gold and the cellophane on the fake as you can see the cellophane looks really bad it looks like the the hot press kind of melted the cellophane or let's say the hot glue melted the cellophane a little bit over here you see the cellophane is a little bit uh, shaky, uh, a little bit, uh, you know, you can slide your finger over here. It's not really well done. Also on the side, doesn't look really good. It's not really a uh, vertical line, it looks like it goes from a line to, from here to, you know, from the right to the left. But you, I don't know if you can tell. Also the cellophane doesn't look really good, it looks really cheap. You can feel it that it is very cheap. On your hand not like the authentic here I'm pressing really hard and nothing on the top as you can see very well done on the side the side really looks perfect the glue looks perfect over here looks very bad looks very cheap also the bottom the bottom of the original is this one and the bottom of the fake look at the fake it's not really well done and also very look very shaky very it's not really compact not really well done so let's open both of our boxes we're gonna start with the fake okay let's pull out the box Okay, this is the fake. From first look, if you don't see the authentic, you think to yourself, wow, this is really good. Especially with this velour-y kind of feeling. But the velour really feels cheap. So let's open the authentic. 
authentic. Cellophane is much, much better quality. Okay, wow, the authentic looks really gorgeous and even the feeling much much different than the fake. The fake really is very cheap. The feeling, uh, the velour, the velvet, actually the velvet on the authentic looks really really good. You guys, I mean if you never tried this, uh, you know it's, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, it's a pretty good feeling. And uh, yeah, so you can tell the colors not the same. Uh, here we have different sh shades of blue. Here it's just one color, one rich dark blue color. Uh, over here we can see a pure excess, very well done. On the cheap one, on the fake one, it looks really cheap, not very good. Also, the XS writing looks not that good look over here looks high quality and the gold color looks really nice even the feeling on the finger is different also Paco Rabanne look how it is yes look how it is on here look at the E can you see it look at 100 ml all the toilets Look at it over here, doesn't look the same, looks really cheap, not really well done. And also we have this, uh, some sort of waves, and, you know, <laughs> the color is not really, also the feeling is not that great. On the top we have the Paco Rabanne uh, Insignia, yes, you can see it now, here we have it. But it's not really, it's, it's really bad, it's not really, it's like, a, it's like they took a dry pen and they do it, it's not really good. And uh, over here you can see the hot press left uh, its uh, mark on the box. Okay, the bottom. The bottom, as you can see, this is the fake, also it has these lines of the hot press for the cellophane. Uh, over here we have a code. Yes, 71011, also another code over here, look at it. Also here we have the barcode, looks really bad. Look at the barcode on here, very well done. Look at the fake, look at the real one. Also for the code, look at the quality, how it is written. Look at this one, looks bad and cheap. Uh, also this code over here trying to see if the camera yes yeah so also for the batch code this code right here this uh, as you can tell this is the authentic and this is the fake it looks really bad doesn't look as a real doesn't look real at all and uh, for the writings, look how good written they are. Look at over here. The color looks really bad. This this is not a gold color. Look at the ingredients, the words, the word. Look at it over here. Very well written. Anyways, let's pull out our bottles. So this is the fake and this is the real one. The fake opens up like this, as you can see this is the card box inside and this is the fake over here. From first look it looks pretty decent and uh, what is that? I see some sort of... Uh, what is that oh, inside? I see, I don't know if you can see it some sort of uh, 
leaves or I don't know <laughs> what is that really funny okay I'm gonna shake it a, a little bit for you so you can see it yeah you can see it definitely I don't know what's that floating inside anyways let's open it the cap is really difficult and uh, over here all we already have some sort of uh, liquid I don't know if you guys can see it and uh, the atomizer looks really uh, bad the painting looks like it's going off yeah very bad painting so yeah this is the this is the bottle here we have a sticker underneath on the bottom it looks uh, good but the glass doesn't look that good the glass looks not really well done here there is some details that makes it look a little bit cheap if I can say that this is the inside of the card box I don't know if you guys can see it I'm gonna lift this thing for you so you can see yes this is the inside of the fake and this is what's on the card box okay let's put the box over there and let's see the authentic the authentic the color looks much different of the card box look at the card box and the authentic look at it on the fake the fake looks really cheap even though in the feeling of the fingers look at it on uh, the real one I'm gonna do it like this look at it can you see and uh, on the authentic we have this code right here this is authentic the fake doesn't have any code authentic have a code on here as you can see okay let's pull out our bottle what a beautiful bottle beautiful looking bottle looks really high quality I'm gonna show you the inside of the, of the box yes okay hold on so the right one is the authentic and uh, the left one is the fake let's put them to the side and fix the camera so this is the authentic this is the fake trying to fix the camera okay so the fake uh, we don't see anything floating around I'm gonna open it so as you can see the authentic opens up from the right the fake opens up from the left I mean uh, it opens from the right actually opens up from the right and the real one opens up from the left like this this is the authentic and this is the fake it opens up from the right side I don't see any uh, leaves inside I'm gonna shake it I don't see anything but here we have and even the juice doesn't look uh, yeah you can see there is some leaves inside I don't know if you can see them I'm trying to show you guys let me put this to the side let me put this to the side I don't know if you guys can see those leaves inside yes they are very clear yeah here we don't see anything let's shake it a little bit here we don't see any leaves of any sort nothing and the bottle looks 
much prettier looks much better than the fake look at the original this is the authentic look at the fake even the cap looks really bad here the, the, the cap looks much better look from far if you see it from far they look uh, they look pretty much similar but they are not the atomizer atomizer really looks really good the painting everything the color looks perfect here it looks bad and we do actually have the pack Raban inside inside the cap I don't know if you guys can see it we do have it in the on the fake also on the authentic but on the authentic it looks more obvious as you can see it's over there the pack Raban uh, logo here doesn't look that good see so uh, we're gonna try we're gonna have to spray the perfume so I'm gonna spray a little bit of uh, both fragrances to see about the scent the smell of both fragrances so I'm gonna start with the, the fake I'm gonna put the original to the side okay it's pretty hard to okay wow five takes just to okay third one as you can see the distribution is really not that great and uh, it makes a sound okay I kind of over sprayed it I smell some sort of alcohol I do smell the, the vanilla boozy uh, vibe but it is very very uh, it smells very very uh, the, uh, the alcohol really stings the, the nose okay let's put the fake and it's not really strong the scent is not really strong let's uh, let's spray the authentic now okay as you can see wonderful distribution I'm gonna do I'm gonna spray a little bit just for the video very nice distribution okay once again very very nice and oh my god what a beautiful fragrance wow beautiful this is definitely i see why this fragrance is uh, is one of the best selling fragrances in the last three years really nice scent so okay guys uh, and uh, by the way i forgot to show you the bottoms of the bottles so this is the authentic as you can see and uh, this is the fake nothing really uh, nothing to do with the original at all uh, the authentic looks much better in everything in every aspect and uh, yeah the smell of the fake the scent really disappeared now <laughs> like not even uh, 20 seconds and the other hand the authentic is just beautiful very lovely i don't have uh, the right words to describe it uh pure excess by paco Rabanne. Uh, i mean i definitely see why it is one of the highest selling fragrances uh, for like the last three years and still beautiful uh, sweet uh, boozy vanilla coca-cola uh, fragrance if i can say that uh, so yes uh, guys really watch out when buying uh, any fragrance online you know i highly recommend you to buy uh, fragrances in person at the store uh, you know online is like a gamble yes sometimes there is some good deals uh, but it is a gamble when you see that the price is too good to be true that's your first flag and uh, also you have to i mean don't rush before i mean before buying any fragrance take your time and be patient 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. This was uh, our video for today. Uh, fake pure excess versus a real authentic pure excess. Please uh, give us a, a thumbs up for this video. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed and stay tuned for the next videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care. So an extra edit that I thought it is worth uh, mentioning that I kind of forgot about. So uh, guys, this is the authentic and this is the fake. So on the authentic, you have uh, the atomizer over here and the dot on the atomizer is black as you can see and uh, over here on the fake the dot on the atomizer is white here it's black on the authentic and here on the fake it is white and as you can see the painting is going off and it's really not good while over here it is still I mean it is very good and the atomizer and the dot is black the card box so the card box uh, different uh, type of card box over here it is much better quality here it is cheap quality and also it opens up like this when you open the, the box it opens up from this side from the back while on the authentic it opens up from here as you can see so yeah that's it uh, guys thank you so much for watching this is the authentic by the way and this is the fake thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video bye bye and take care